Hi guys, so a bit of news out from AMD today. They've got an improvement to AMD's fluid motion frames. So AFMF1, there's been an update. It's now been dubbed AFMF2. So let's go and take a look at the blog posts, just see what's um, the latest. So it's been released in technical preview, AFMF2. There's a couple of improvements. Obviously I cover a lot of gaming handhelds, Windows gaming handhelds on my channel, the Lenovo Legion Go and the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme. I've got the ROG Ally X on pre-order. It's only arriving in South Africa at the beginning of August. So stay tuned for that. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, so obviously the preference is always to get in-game support for frame generation via FSR 3.1. That's obviously on the AMD side of things, our preference. Um, but on the games that aren't supported natively, we definitely appreciate them giving us a tool such as AMD's Fluid Motion Frames. It's driver level, so it can be applied to a myriad of games that the developers haven't gone to specifically and implemented a frame gen um, solution for us. So let's just go and take a look at um, the highlights of AMD's AFMF. So I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description of the video so you guys can have a look. Obviously the link to the updated Radeon software um, is going to be in the description as well for that um, preview driver for um, the AFMF2 implementation. So let's just go check the highlights. So new features for AFMF2 technical preview, major advancement in frame generation technology for AMD HyperRx, lower latency and higher performance, AFMF2 enhances fast paced gameplay by significantly reducing frame generation latency and performance scaling through new modes, fast motion optimization, enjoy smooth gameplay and higher FPS with improved frame generation consistency during fast motion improved borderless full screen support, expanded display mode support for RDNA 3, series graphics products ensures compatibility with virtually all borderless full screen games, expanded API support, enable AFMF2 for any OpenGL, Vulkan, DirectX 11 and 12 titles, and obviously Radeon Chill interoperability support. AFMF2 now supports Radeon Chill, providing a low latency FPS capping option. Okay, so they've given instructions on how to enable it, how to optimize it, optimize it, multi GPU configurations, which is quite cool for any um, system um, rig that's got a hybrid graphics configuration. AFMF2 will use the displaying GPU for frame generation, allowing the render GPU to focus on the game. So obviously if you've got um, graphics built into your motherboard and you've got maybe a separate um, dedicated graphics card then one can just be handling the frame gen and one can obviously be rendering the game so obviously they've got fixed issues here known issues that's just t's and c's the disclaimer um, to see what you're signing up for. Package contents, so it's the driver version is 24.20.01.02. Okay, so we'll be giving this a go on our channel, obviously on the Lenovo Legion Go and the ROG Ally Z1 Extreme, and as soon as my ROG Ally X pre-order gets here, I'll be trying it out on there as well. So it is just the product compatibility list. So obviously this is a welcome because on the gaming handouts we are making use of lossless scaling frame gen, obviously FSR 3.1 and the previous um, gen versions of those where it is available um, in game, but an improved version of AFMF that's been now updated to version two is definitely an improvement for the community. 
and yeah we'll be giving it a go on a couple of games on the channel so stay tuned for that guys um thanks for joining till next time cheers